Audience? Where? What? 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 Did the game just freeze? Okay, there we go. That that was just that was weird. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. Yeah. So, audience, we need to rig the Olympic Games. An empty torch bracket. Nothing to do. Okay, so I guess we need a drug, Herbert. A thick bundle of cables running out into the stadium. The layout of the stadium. Oh God! One of the lights are at. That's just one out. Of course. I'm an expert orienteer, so I won't be needing this. Okay. Whatever you say, Fenton. I mean, he's not oh. wrong, but at the same time. Let's steal these shoes. Nothing I can do with a pair of smelly trainers. The shoelaces, on the other hand, look absolutely essential. Are we going to kill Huber by choking him out with shoelaces? What would a locker room be without lockers? Just a room, I suppose. Yes, ju just a room. A room with a bunch of naked They're men or locked. women in it. Or in the case of my high school, men and sometimes women sneaking into Fresh, it and the teacher's not towels. doing anything about it. Call it intuition if you like. But I'm taking this towel. I mean, towels are very useful. Towels have so many uses. They can be used to blind in our galley beast attacking you. The list of starters in the long jump. Glenn's got a slim lead. That's why he's last to jump. This is a list of the hmm. best scores that are captured. I feel like there's a Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy reference we made with a towel. I just did the. Irwin Huber. Ah! I didn't say the right creature name, but I was going for that. centimeters in the long jump. If they're both on form tonight, the German will just snatch victory. If and that's why he can't win go gold, He won't be able to get me into the museum. I've got to do something. <laughs> Is this revisionist history? Is this is revisionist history to make it so that the There's German guy was cheated game. from his victory. A bottle of cleaner. Are we going to drug him? a used towel. Filthy. I'm not touching it. <laughs> Might as well be eyeing the women back at Shen's. Oh! 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 What did he just say? Here. Uh, wait, can we get, can we get, okay, um, he said filthy when he looked at the towel. Might as well be eyeing up women back at Shen's. Oh. A sweaty yeah. blue jersey. Let's see if he says it for the jersey as well. Mmm, sweaty sports clothes. No thanks. Mm. <laughs> Sweaty sports clothes. It's a poster advertising the Olympic torch relay. The games have started, so my guess is this is a little out of date. <laughs> Code hooks. No. Oh, are we taking one of the hooks? Seems to be loose. Oh, cool. Got it. <laughs> we're, so we're oh, going to stab him with a hook. I can see a weak. Or we combine the rope or the shoelaces with the hook. It's screwed on tight. So we need to unscrew it. But the goat hook? Maybe, but let's look around first. Uh... The sign says, Equipment Room. Oh my goodness, yes. The lamp seen better days. It's flickering and sparking. Looks like it would give me a... Yeah, I think that's a safety hazard. Are we gonna taser him? Are we gonna taser an Olympic athlete? It's locked. Oh, we're not going to tease him a little bit we, just yet. I should stand here and support Glenn in the long jump. Okay. Now then, let's not go out there just yet. So let's try that hook theory. I want to see if this works. Just needed a bit of leverage, that's all. The great's off. I see? I know gonna... my adventure game logic. <laughs> I wasn't saying you did, Bill. I just wanted to <laughs> check there and see what that other location was. See if we could get to it first. Uh -huh. It's the equipment room. You know, do that first and then come here. Because I was so. Says the person who denied me the lollipop in the gutter. 
five kilos. <laughs> it's time with the lolly in the gutter. With me. Wait, that sounds wrong out of context. We're still carrying that lollipop, by the way, which is disgusting in my books. Mm-hmm. High jump, mats. Time for a nap? Maybe later. <laughs> I just love the idea that he's like, oh, I'll take a nap now. More lockers. I broke in here, I'll take a nap. They're all locked. Okay, we don't use a dumbbell to break it open. It's Coat a hanger? plate screwed into the side of the locker. <laughs> Wait, let's see if we can just open it with our bare hands first. With my fingers? Really? That never works, does it? Okay, let's see. Coat hanger! If I can loosen the metal plate, maybe I can open this left hand locker. I'll need to attack the screws though. And the coat hook's got a rounded end. Okay, so we need something else, but the coat hook is what we're going to need to use for the second part. I can't see much, but it looks like a full house out there. It is the Olympics. Adventurous oh, yes. though I am, perhaps I should just go <sighs> the normal way. <laughs> Maybe I should just a go the normal way. A whole load of sporting equipment and measuring devices. Stopwatches, batons, several table tennis balls, and a measuring tape. Oh, are we going to adjust the measuring, measuring tape? Could be useful. Oh my, I just realized what we're going to do. We're going to make it so the measuring tape reads inches rather than centimeters. So when they jump, it's going to be like, rather than it being, you know, one meter, it's going to be 36 centimeters. And everyone's going to be like, boo, you suck. Uh, what's the sign say? It reads, Certified Measurement Devices, Calibrated by the IOC. Okay, so... Uh, okay, what's this say? Starting blocks. Starting blocks for the track races. I'd much rather leave them here. Okay, to the door. We're just gonna... Also locked. The door outside's locked. So Can we take that coat hanger? Nope, we can't do anything with the coat hanger. Damn. It's just taunting us. Yeah, it is just taunting us. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Do we have something we don't wait, maybe we'll use the bottle. On the screen. Well the bot well, the sharp end of the bottle might be considered flat enough. Nope, we're not using it there. Oh. Uh, a bottle of cleaner. Not that I'm about to pay any heed to what a bottle tells me to do, but it says, removes even the most stubborn stains. Warning, do not use on plastic surfaces. Contains the solvent, acetone. Okay, I know what we need to do already. A competition sanctioned measuring tape. Okay, I guess we're not doing that then. I thought we were going to mix the two and then clean um uh, torch hook. A torch bracket. We need to do something with these. Do Nothing we? to do. I have no idea what will happen if I pull on that. Usually that's reason enough to do just that. Okay, let's go out to the stadium because we need something Just else. Just to be on the safe side, I'll slip back into my photographer disguise. Oh yes, Believe we get to see the disguise. I wouldn't glue our garlic fur to my face unless it was absolutely necessary, or unless I was drunk. I don't see why he doesn't just say I shaved my beard. The decathlon event is now nearing its finale. We'll be watching the remaining four athletes compete for the gold in the last leg of the contest, the long jump. The next jumper is Sander Molnar from Hungary. He's in fourth place after the previous contest. Who is hungry? <laughs> I'm joking. The jump is valid, but will it be enough for the Hungarian to edge ahead in the rankings? Seven, five, seven meters and five centimeters. Seven meters.
meters and five centimeters. A great jump by Santa Molnar. He'll do in a few minutes if it's enough to earn him a place on the podium. The three leading athletes will now make their final jumps. First comes Larry Askeler of Finland, then the German Owen Hoover, and finally Glenn Parker of Great Britain. I don't have much time left to help Glenn. I hope we're not on a time limit. That's a lot of people. That guy with the tash looks familiar. Somebody looks familiar in this crowd. This cable powers the lights and things out on the track. I shouldn't do anything to blow my cover. What? No, blow your cover! Blow this your cover! This is run-up track the long jumpers use. I'd better keep a distance. The jump's invalid if the jumper steps over the takeoff ball. As they say, a jumper with a perfect takeoff is already halfway to victory. Oh my, this measure. measuring tape is used to measure the distance of the long jump from the... Wait, can we just take the measure? Are we just hey, gonna be a... you there. The press isn't allowed in this area. You're disrupting the athlete's concentration. Please go back to the press area bordering the stands. Sorry, won't happen again. <laughs> concentration. Also, I like to point out that our character model is not wearing the glasses. Or the goatee. The judge uses the microphone to relay the jumpers. Di the judge records the distance. And okay. The judge decides he shows the white flag for a good takeoff. Then he takes that measuring tape. The judge records. This measuring tape is used to measure the distance. Good. Okay, I don't know what we need to do, but we got some items now, so I guess we just need to figure it out. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll we'll look around. Let's see if there's something else. Did we miss anything in here? Oh, we can take the table. Any items? Place. I'm sure no one will miss these. Well, we've just acquired table tennis balls. May we throw them at somebody? More lockers. Got a dumb idea. Two javelins and some hammer throwing and shot put equipment. The shelf's feet are screwed to the floor. That's some heavy duty storage. I can't use the coat hook to loosen the screws yet. Maybe leaving it here will help somehow. Oh my God. I figured, Bill, this is so dumb, Bill. We're going to, look, we attach the coat hook. Look. No, you attach the shoelaces. Oh, we're going to attach the shoelaces. Okay. It's all tied up. Dumbbell? Time to get to work. What? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, we used it. <laughs> the end's now flattened out. <laughs> oh yeah, so we hammered the... We hammered it into it. That's amazing. Now that it's flat, this makes for a pretty decent screwdriver. We made Let's a screwdriver using a dump bell. Yeah, we've been over that shit. I present to you the inside of a locker. Oh my goodness, we're going to looks like a judge's uniform. Swish. Okay, so now we're a judge. They're not going to notice somehow. Uniform. Okay. We are the law. <laughs> hmm. I could use the sharp edge to cut the measuring tape and then alter it. Won't be long before Glenn discovers his inner champion.
table tennis ball. The cleaner contains acetone. According to the label, this, my destructive tendencies are encouraging me to do precisely that. Hence, the table tennis balls. But if it melts plastic, I can only imagine. Okay, so we've got these two items. I like how our character is, is basically just like, how can I be destructive today? There we go. Okay. I bet I know what we need to do. Rubbish bin. The bin looks pretty sturdy. Should be a good container for my little experiment. Wish I could say this was the first time I've done something like this. <laughs> the solvent's dissolving the balls. All that's left is a sticky mush and a fierce stench. Smells a bit like thorn apple. I like how our character is just like, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh... I cut this off the measuring tape. It's ex I don't really want to glue this piece back on. The table tennis. Maybe cut it again? I sense. Yes, I rather sense a plan taking shape. Oh, that's the exact length Glenn needs to beat his competitor's best distance. I can probably glue this back onto the original tape. I guess the molten plastic will do the job. Perfect. I'll glue the shortened piece back onto the original roll. Job done. So we altered the measuring tape because we're expecting because it's such a long jump. Okay, I get it. The long jump because, well, long jump. They're not going to notice that the thing's actually not as, it's 25 centimeters less than it should be. An official judge's <laughs> uniform. Okay, I bet we go outside now. Okay. I've got to make this work. I've got to... Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the grand finale of the Olympic... In just a few moments, Erwin Huber of Germany will step up to compete. An excellent effort. That was quite a jump. Okay, we're going to swap the two measuring tapes around, so... Our guy gets a 25 centimeter boost. 750, 7 Please. meters and 50 centimeters. 7 meters and 50 centimeters. Fantastic! Erwin Huber has topped his own personal best. This will make it very, very difficult for Glenn Parker to defend his lead in the overall standings. Parker is heading to the track. In just a few minutes, his performance in the long jump will determine the gold medal decathlon winner. I'm really running out of time here, but I'll struggle as long as those two... Okay, so we need to get those two judges out of the way. Uh-huh. Well, okay, so we need to get them out of the way. Um, can we? Okay, let's see what this does. We're gonna like a little fire, aren't we? The spark set the flowers alight. <laughs> then we're gonna set the cords on fire? Uh, no, I, I bet I know what we're doing. Good plan, Fenton. The fire gradually burns through the cables, then the lights on the long jump area go out, interrupting the event, and I'm long gone before anyone realizes what's happened. Let's be honest. That's the best bit. I like how he's taking off the disguise and going to put it back on the Let's get out of here. Berlin is holding its collective breath. The yeah. final decision in the Why does he keep... rapidly approaching. Wow. Glenn Parker is warming up on the track for his decisive jump. I'd like to ask the spectators in the stands to remain quiet because... One moment. We seem to be experiencing technical difficulties in the long jump area. 
Yep. Testing, testing. One, I two, love three, how the how the lights went out, but the actual lighting the environment didn't change. Power failure in this part of the stadium. Yep. Must be another problem with the cables. I'll go yep. check. Come with me. I might need your help. Shouldn't the technician take care of it? Sure. In about three hours' time, we can't put the Olympic Games on hold. Can you keep an eye on things while we try to fix the problem? But of course. J j just leave everything in my capable hands. <laughs> I'm just gonna swap out these two measuring tapes and things. Hi yo, hi yo, hi yo. <laughs> Never tell him that you gave him the victory, Fenton. Never. I've just been told that we're doing everything possible to fix the problem. Thank you for your patience. I'm sure the long jump contest will resume shortly. Okay, well, let's uh, put down our new measuring tape. So... Perfect time to swap the tapes. Okay, I can't wait to see this. Cutscene. The camera is intensely jumping. <laughs> yes, oh wait, holy. Cutscene, actual legit cutscene. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, wait, never mind. problems have been solved. The judges are returning to their seats, and we can continue. I was so hoping it was going to go to like cutscene mode for a second, and we're going to see the cut. Ready? The big question, though, is will the interruption have put Glenn Parker off his stride? <laughs> and then it does, and he fails anyways. Position. Any minute now, he'll be making his decisive jump. Maybe we should have made it 50 centimeters. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. The jump is valid. But was it far enough? From here, it doesn't seem like he came anywhere near Arvin Hoover. But what do the measurements say? 735. 7 meters and 35 centimeters. 7 meters and 35 centimeters. That puts him just behind Erwin Hoover in this final event, but it's just enough for Glenn Parker of Great Britain to take the gold medal! His lead may have been minuscule, but that's a minor detail. Glenn Parker has won the 1936, 1936 Olympic Decathlon! Okay, so we also have the year now, finally. It's 1936, Silver, audience! And Lauri Askeler of Finland has earned the and, bronze. And Lauri Askeler got that, third place. ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of this year's decathlon. I hope history will forgive me. I mean, I may have betrayed the centuries-old Olympic spirit and cheated a man out of his gold medal. But come on. I am here saving the world, so I'll finally be able to get into the museum. Countess von Hagenhild had better be there with what I need. Glenn had better have a spare dinner jacket as well. Actually, no, Glenn doesn't have a spare dinner jacket. Two hours later at the museum reception. Okay. We're at the museum reception.